As the storm rolls through, driving conditions are getting worse. Here's a look at the latest closures now. Interstate 90 is closed from Vivian to Worthington, Minnesota, and I-29 is closed from Sioux Falls to the North Dakota border. As Skeletoland's Dan Santella reports, there's not a whole lot travelers can do when the weather is this bad. Elijah Reed of Texas had planned to go to Madison, South Dakota. We caught up with him at this truck stop on the north side of Sioux Falls, where he was headed nowhere quickly. Basically just sitting here waiting on the interstate to open up so I can go northbound on 29 to deliver a load. It was a similar story for Wesley Pickle from Arkansas. Stuck. <laughs> waiting for the interstate to open up. Phil Free is on his way from Las Vegas to northern Minnesota. I-29's closure also stopped him in his tracks. Well, I've been hitting the storms all the way across. I come through the Rocky Mountains and it, it was pretty rough coming through there, but nothing like this right here. These pictures from South Dakota DOT cameras show exactly why the interstates are closed. The snow is not only blowing, it's drifting across the road. The interstate's closed because of the conditions. Uh, those same conditions are going to be on those secondary roads. South Dakota Highway Patrol Trooper Jeremy Gakey says drivers aren't listening to the warnings and are driving around the barricades. There's those that are trying to not go around the barrier, but try to find different roadways. Uh, there's been numerous vehicles stuck on Highway 38, including trucks. Howling wind and accumulating snow have the upper hand on days like this, when sometimes all you can do is wait. Nah, ain't nothing I can do about it. When they open it up, they, we can go. <laughs> Dan Centella, Kelloland News. And if you drive around a barricade, not only do you risk getting stranded, there's also a good chance that you're going to get a ticket. Now, if you have to go somewhere, you're going to want to make sure that you have a full tank of gas, a charged cell phone, and blankets. And you should also pack a first aid kit and an emergency kit with a shovel, flashlight, water, and snacks. Uh, many cities are 